Hello, it's Marcia with Then and There. I have another journal I wanted to share with you guys today. This one was a um, custom order for Renee. Hi, Renee. Thank you for the opportunity to do this for one of her um, students. <coughs> Excuse me. The theme for this one was theater, um, Shakespeare, um, drama. So uh, I just, and of course she gave me free reign to do what I wanted to do with that. And she sent me some lovely things to, to include in it. <laughs> Lots of lovely things, actually. Um, and I used as much as I felt like I could without, like, taking over the entire book. You know, I want to leave some some um, interpretation and space for the um, recipient to do what they want to with the book. <clears throat> I don't want to make it a complete completely filled journal. So, what we have is... Um, it is a, a soft cover, fabric, faux leather cover. Um, tied around here is just some seam binding, which I have um, um, wrinkled and scrunched up and um, made pretty. Um, the entire cover is the faux leather. It is zigzag stitched around. Uh, there's fabric on the inside as well. There's a fabric pocket here, which I did some collage of some other fabrics. we got tapestries and this lovely um, velvet with this gold um, flower on it. Kind of patchworked on here. A couple of, well, a trim and a, um, this is like the remnant part of a tapestry, which has this lovely um, fringe at the end, and I really liked that. Stitched that on. <clears throat> this is a fun little piece. <laughs> I had some fun playing around with this one. Um, if I can, I'm going to take it off for now, just so I can show you if I can. It's a bit, it's a bit tight that end there. I don't know why, but um, this was a button cover which Renee sent me, and I decided to turn it into a stick pin. I have glued a stick pin onto the back of it, and I kept it the way it was because the cool thing about it that you can open it like a little locket. It sort of becomes like a locket that you could put a picture in there. I have put a button on here. It is a vintage button with a lady on there. Um, it looks like she could be Greek or Roman or something of that nature. Um, <clears throat> and I just thought that was kind of a little secret place to hide something if you wanted to or to put a, um, a picture or something like that. So. That will be pinned onto the front. I'll put that back on later. In the pocket is a card with just a little bit of collage and some stamping. Um, this was a quote from one of the books from Shakespeare. This isn't a quote from Shakespeare, but it was about theater. And I'll just read the first couple lines I thought was really cool. I mean, the whole thing is fitting for the journal. It says, if all the pens that ever poets held had fed the feel feeling of their master's thoughts and every sweetness that inspired their hearts. And it goes on talking about um, poetry and writing and um, <clears throat> just what that, what poets are able to capture with their words. Um, yeah, so we will go into the book now. So there's a canvas interior um, all the way through and this satin, gold satin fabric here, which gives it a bit of um, just lushness to the journal, a little bit of that, um, oh, renaissance, um, gilding, if you will, <laughs> just to kind of dress it up. <clears throat> a book page here, which I turned into a journaling card. I backed it with coffee dyed paper and did some stamping. An image here of, uh, uh, one, it's a Shakespeare lady. I don't really know. But um, I like that image there, a tag here. And we have an image of London here. We have a um, sort of a, a, <laughs> a layout of Shakespeare's stage at the, uh, the theater. What was the name? I can't think of the name. It has escaped me. And then there's a vintage stamp here with Shakespeare on it. <clears throat> that can be journaled on. There is a book plate here with a space to write an image of a lady from a um, from a play with some 
wallpaper and some book page. Uh, I left this uncovered because it has a great description of a woman. Um, just, I really liked that. There's a book page on the back side as well. Made a little tag there. An image of curtains. It kind of made me think of, you know, the drawing of the curtains on the stage. The, the theater, which again has completely escaped me, but um, yeah, and it shows the stage and stuff like that from a book. Um, a cityscape there, sort of, of Old England, and a book page. There are fabric tabs along the sides. An image here, it's an old Renaissance painting of a lady with some fabric. A little bit of collage here with a space to write, and a vintage image and some lace. Um, this flips up and it shows a theater, a stage with actors on it, and a theater from the 1800s. So it's not Renaissance era, but I really liked having all the actors there in costume on stage and it fit the theme of the book. It didn't have to be necessarily just Renaissance and Shakespeare, but theater and drama in general. We have an old postcard here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm fighting a runny nose. Another book page here. An image just glued onto that book page with some ribbon and papers sewed on there. Sewn on. <laughs> A little corner tuck there, a tiny one, with a little tag that I made using an image of an actress. Um, a, um, what is it called? I think it's an etching from a Shakespeare play. Some fabric stitched on down here. This is a book page, and it shows very early, um, I believe it was Italian theater. We have a tag here which I made using um, a book page from Macbeth, and we have an image here of the three witches as pictured in um, Holland Shed's Chronicles. I probably said that all wrong. And a few more things here like Act 1, Scene 1. A page from a book um, all about Shakespeare. Some Blank pages, there are several of these throughout the book, so she can write as well and add in things as she wants to. This is a cover from a booklet um, about As You Like It, a Shakespeare uh, BBC broadcast, I believe is what it was. And that's something you can have to, you know, go along with it. This is a book page. It doesn't have anything on the back, so you can definitely journal on that. It is about a woman's... Um, costume and it has notes here depicting you know what each fabric would be and the layers and um, colors and things like that now I don't know if this is written in English but it looked to me like this says pink and then it could say collar or color and so I put some pink lace on here with some other fabrics as if um, someone were designing a costume for a play another book image here a space to write on here with a picture of London. Some ledger paper and just tipped in here is another book of, I mean, image of London, of the London Bridge. Some napkin collage done here with these, um, this great color and design, which is, makes me think of Renaissance. A vintage image from the Graphics Fairy made into a little tuck spot, a tag with another book image and some fabric and cheesecloth, and room to write. I do like to leave lots of room for people to write and add in their own thing. A um, paper here, I stamped on Please Join Us as if it were an invitation possibly to a play or um, a performance of some sort and it has a wax seal and some cheesecloth and it has some gilding on there. This is a fabric cluster which I turn into a little pocket. Some old, um, I believe it's German or Dutch book page there. An image from a book um, glued onto that book page. Some stamping, another vintage image. Um, it mentions uh, the theater, and it says um, what theater that is. Another 
page here with the stage and Shakespeare. Some lace and seam binding on there. The second signature here. Um, I left plenty of space here so lots can be added to this and it can really be bulked up if, if you want to. <laughs> I made a little corner tuck here with a card and um, well, it's, it's a printout of a card and some paper collage with some fabric and a tuck spot here with um, Harlequin there and we have Punchinella there which are uh, Italian um, actors from uh, way back <laughs> and just some coffee dyed paper there to write on and uh, some masks up in the top pocket here with some collage this is a fabric covered tag. It's cardstock with fabric on it, and I liked the pen there and the writing, and just um, you know, all great all great plays start with a pen, right? Book page. This was a book page which I turned into a little envelope, and it is a little coin envelope here. And inside it, I put another book page image in there. Um, these I have a couple of these these envelopes in this book inspired by Barbara over at 49 Dragonflies. <laughs> she recently did a video with where she made a bunch of coin envelopes and I was like, wow, <laughs> that was really easy. There are just some fabrics layered on here with some lace. I like to just put the paper clip there. It kind of holds the lace because when you turn the pages, it likes to go all over. <laughs> The a book page, another one of those um, Renaissance painting images, another little corner tuck here, and an image from a play. I believe that's, a, um, oh, I'll probably get it wrong, so I'm not even going to try. Some stenciling there, another book page. I have a paper cluster here, which makes a little tuck spot, and I put in just a couple pages. Um, from the play Taming of the Shrew. It was a prominent um, discussion point in, when we were discussing the journal itself. And it has a lot of information about the Taming of the Shrew. Another fabric tab. A book page which I turn into a corner tuck with another book page in it with a cathedral in there. Another book page image. This is an encyclopedia page and it has um, a scene from Rosalind. Nope. Oh, As You Like It. And, it, and that's Rosalind. <laughs> I'll get it straight. Uh, some more of that napkin collage with an image of an actor. Another one of those uh, um, broadcast booklets. <laughs> This is another coin envelope, which was made with a book page. It has a great um, image on it. And inside I just put some coffee dyed paper, which I inked up and tore the edges, make it look old. Put all this back together. Another image here from, I believe it was from a book, and it's collaged with some paper on the other side of that encyclopedia page. <laughs> More book pages, some fabric and paper here with a wax seal collaged on and stitched. Another image from a play layered on with some lace and on a book page stitched on. Another one of those Renaissance painting images, which I have made into a pocket, which has another image in there. Some ladies in costume. An image of a queen. Another fabric tab. Book page with another tip in, and it has room on the back to write as well. This is a double pocket. I just put this little queen of hearts in there because I thought it fit. And I uh, made this tag with a book page and some coffee dyed paper and just layered on some fabrics and paper and did some stitching. Another little tuck here from, um, this is also I believe from Italian theater, very early Italian theater. I made a tag here, very simple image of backstage and then I, I just collaged on 
or glued on the word backstage. I figured this would be a great place for someone to write about an experience backstage or something like that. Um, the other side of that pocket. I made a large tag here and it had to be large because this image is rather large. And what this is, is a paper doll from a book that I have, and it has to do with theater and opera. And I just really loved this um, female knight costume type thing here. And we got some more with that napkin. And a little book page back here is called Stage History, a little bit about that. And lots of room on the back to write. And so, Renee, I hope you like this, and I hope and pray that your student likes it as well and um yeah it'll be i'll let you know when it's ready so thanks for watching